Hello friends, welcome back to service now 911. Today we are going to discuss about functional fields. Yes, this is a special type of field which you can create in your table. And unlike our natural fields, these fields are not storing the values, but it is displaying common database transformations and calculations. Basically, it will display the value of a calculation which you do in a client script or you do in a server side script. Here the calculations are done at database server level, not at the application level. So it means improved performance as well as accurate results. So let's go to the instance and see how this field work. Okay. Okay. So this is my instance. Let's open incident table. So I already have created a text functional field for you. You see here. This is my test functional field. You cannot modify this field. So how to create this field? So let me show you how to create this field. Let's go to dictionary. So this is a functional field which I have created. Let me create one more. Click on new. Select your type. Let's say I want a string. And check on functional field. Provide some length and this is the main thing that is the functional definition. So let me show you all those functions which you can use here. So this is like one of the functional definition. So you have to use glide functions. The list of all glide functions are available in the documentation. So uh, this is the functional field doc uh, page. You can see here all the functional field operations. First one is add function, then we have subtract function, then multiply function. So all these functions are very easily explained here how to do it. Okay. So in that you can concatenate as well. You see it is concatenating the incident number along with a short description. Okay. Date difference, date of the week, all these functions can be used. I have used this one that is the length. Okay. So let me show you the same or let's uh, do concatenation okay let's use concatenation so just copy this so here in your new one i have used this one okay incident number slash short description so let's uh, submit it let's go back to incident table let's add that field test functional to add it just below test functional okay and then we can see the result Oops, it is showing invalid function. So it means there is some error. Okay. So let me go back to the field. Configure dictionary. Whenever there is some problem, it will always return. What? Invalid function. So why it is invalid? Because I have used wrong name here, right? Number will be simple number. Now if you go here, refresh this. You see here incident slash uh, the description short description in everyone. One more advantage of this functional field is that it provides the most up to date values. Okay. So let me try to update this field using background script. So this is the background script. I am printing. I am printing. Then I am updating. Okay. So let me try to update it. Click on run script. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Okay. So you see this is not updated at all. It is totally giving the length of the short description. That is the one which we have assigned. Okay. You cannot update this field. I hope you get it and I will be coming up with more new videos. Subscribe to the channel. Jai Hind. Bye bye.